Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So I'm creating this playlist where we are going to talk about Grafana APIs. Many people wanted to know how to use Grafana APIs, what are the advantages of using that. Some of you also asked how you can create dashboards using Grafana API or how you can do administrative work using Grafana APIs. So this playlist is going to answer all of those questions. So stay tuned and watch the complete playlist. Now if you are an absolute beginner and you do not know what's an API, go ahead and watch this video. It's going to give you understanding of what's an API. Now if you are already, you already understand API, then just go ahead and let's talk about why you even need Grafana APIs. So Grafana APIs uh, you will be especially using when you are an administrator and you want to automate all the work which you do. Okay, so. Uh, whatever action you take as a Grafana GUI user, so all those actions behind the scene are running Grafana APIs to perform those tasks. So now rather than interacting with Grafana user interface, you are going to directly interact with Grafana APIs. So I have just given the link of all the APIs, different types of APIs which are available. However, you can also go to Grafana official documentation if you want to read official documentations. Now, uh, in order to connect to Grafana, there are different mechanisms which are available. So basically, uh, we have two types of mechanism. One is called basic authentication and the other one is called token-based authentication or it is called key-based authentication. So you can use uh, either of them. Now, some of the functionalities or some of the operations only going to work when you are using basic authentication and some of those are only going to work when you are using token based authentication. So it is clearly stated in the documentation which one you need to use for which purpose. However, when we are going through these, uh, these APIs, I'm also going to let you know which one to use. Now in order to connect to Grafana using API, first we need to have a Grafana environment. So what we are going to do is we are going to install Grafana on Docker Play. Now what is Docker Play? Uh, Docker Play or Play with Docker is a, is a web interface which provides you a Docker environment for a few hours. So in our case we just need a throwaway do uh, Docker environment where we can install Grafana and we can practice uh, Grafana REST APIs. So here is the link, I'm going to put this link in description as well. So you, if you are going to this site for the first time you will also need to register. But since I have already logged in, I'm just going to click on start. And once you click on start, it is going to give you a session. And in that session, you can install as many software as you want. So here you can see it's giving us a session, which is, um, which is going to run for four hours. And now you can click on add new instance. And then it is going to give you a server environment. Okay, and there uh, Docker will already be installed. So we don't need to install Docker. We just need to run any Docker image, which we want to run. Here you can see environment is ready. Now what we need to do is we are going to run this command in order to run Grafana. So let's type this command here. So it's docker run hyphen d. Hyphen d is for detached mode. So Grafana is services are going to run in a detached mode. And then we need to type hyphen p. We are saying we need to map port number 3000. And then we need to type Grafana slash Grafana. Make sure you do not make any spelling mistake, hit enter and then it is going to pull Grafana image and going to run Grafana. It's going to take probably a couple of minutes because it is pulling all the images and then it is going to, going to run Grafana. So let's just wait for a few seconds and in the meanwhile, uh, let's just uh, go through this blog. So you can see uh, we, we are right now here and after the Grafana is installed, we should be able to see something like this. It is going to show a port which is available, which is 3000 port. We know that by default Grafana runs on port 3000. So let's go ahead and see. You can see here environment is ready and you can see showing it is showing a port which is 3000. So just click here and then you are going to see a Grafana login screen. Okay, so Grafana is now running. You already be knowing if you are working on Grafana, you already be knowing that default uh, username and password is admin admin which I have also mentioned here in the article uh, yeah here so you can see by uh, default is admin admin so we are just going to write admin in the password also we are going to write admin click on login 
and this is just your browser asking whether you want to save this password so we don't want to save this password and Grafana is asking whether you want to change the password so for now we don't want to even change the password just going to click on skip and you can see Grafana is preparing to show you the home screen of Grafana so here you go you can now see Grafana home screen and which means we have successfully uh, running Grafana and now we are going to see how we can connect to Grafana using uh, APIs now in order to run APIs uh, you also need to use one of the programming languages or you can also use Postman or you can uh, use any other mechanism which provides you ability to run uh, ability to call HTTP APIs okay so uh, in this case we are going to use Google Colab so for that the link is collab.research.google.com I'm going to give this link in the description as well so click on this link and then it is going to open up a, a Google Colab environment if you are new to Google Colab environment basically it is just going to provide you an online notebook where you can run Python commands or program so here you can just click on new notebook and by the way you don't need to do it uh, on Google Colab if you already have Python installed you can just use that interface now in this case I'm using Google Colab so you can practice everything on your own without the need of installing any software on your local system now this is this is how Google Colab looks like here you can give the name or name to this notebook in this case I'm just going to call demo Grafana APIs and that's it this is called cells and we have two different types of cells we have a text cell where you can type the text and we have a code cell where you can type the code okay so if you want to delete a cell you can see you can click on any of the cell and here you are going to see the option of deleting the cell and we are just going to remove this cell as well okay and now this is a cell where we are going to work on and if you want to open any existing uh, any existing saved uh, notebook then you can go to file and you can go to open notebooks yeah, I'm going to open one of the notebook which I have already saved which is this one I'm just going to click on leave and I already have this program ready so I'm not going to waste the time by typing everything from the scratch so let's go ahead and see the code which is already available and this is the code which are already available but don't worry I'm going to give you a walkthrough of all of this so let's click on new notebook now and we now open a new notebook where we are going to practice and as I told you if we are using Grafana APIs there are two mechanisms which are available first is called basic authentication so first we are going to learn about basic authentication okay so this is a this is a sample python program which you can use if you are going to use a basic authentication mechanism now let's paste this program here and try to understand what we are doing here so we are importing two modules one is called requests and the other one is json and after that we are creating a variable which is called base url and we are assigning some long string here and we can just remove it and go to your Grafana environment copy the URL of Grafana so in this case this is the URL make sure you copy only until .com and then you can paste that URL here now since it is called basic authentication it means you also need to supply username and password in uh, in the base URL okay so here after HTTP and double slash we are going to type admin and colon admin again and then we are going to write at the rate okay so this is the syntax you need to follow so you are supplying credentials which is username and password here so make sure if you are using different username and password make sure you are typing the correct username and password here and then after at the rate you need to type complete uh, url of grafana environment so if it is an ip address you can type the ip address if you are using an url or host name whatever just type that here and then uh, you can see a leading uh, slash here so we are just going to remove it we don't need that here and after that we are going to run our first api which is called slash api slash dashboards slash home okay so if you are if you already know about python you will be knowing that this is how you make a uh, you make a call to any api so we are making here a get call you can see here we are using get and we are using this base url which is this url and then we are appending slash api slash dashboard slash home here and in verify i have i'm marking it as false it is going to be used if you are using https in this case we don't really need it so we can just keep it verify is equal to false and then it is going to whenever we are making a request it is going to give us a response back uh, we can in fact print it so i'm going to do print response dot text so 
if you do response.txt you can see the response but here what I'm doing is I'm converting that response to JSON because whatever response which you get from these APIs uh, you can convert them in JSON and then it is very easy to just play around with them okay so let's just run it and let's see what happens if everything has gone good we are going to see a response and if you are running it for the first time it will take probably few seconds here you go we can see that we have got the response okay so this is the response which we have received you can see uh, it is giving you all the information about uh, Grafana which means we have been able to successfully connect to uh, Grafana APIs and we are able to receive a response so this is how you use a uh, grafana basic authentication now i'm going to show you how you can use grafana key based authentication or also called grafana token authentication so i'm just going to uh, select here and then going to clear output and then we are going to insert a new uh, cell and now let's go ahead and copy one of the existing code so i can we, we are not wasting our time here okay Let's copy paste this code. Now you can see this remains the same. We need, we still need to use requests and JSON. And now here you can see we have headers. Okay, so when we are using key based authentication, we need to pass uh, something which is called a key. Okay, so this is the key which we are passing. Now where this key is coming from? So this key is coming from Grafana. Okay, so uh, first thing you need to do uh, with key based authentication is you need to create a key. So for that you can go to uh, Grafana, then you can go to configuration and then you can see API keys. And in the API keys uh, you might see some keys already created by your admin or you might not see any key created. So if since it's a new in environment we don't have any keys so I'm going to click on new API key. And here you can give any name to API key. Uh, we are not going to use this name so it doesn't really matter. Let's call it admin API key. And here you can uh, give him any role so since this uh, with this account we want to handle everything so I'm just going to give it admin role but let's say if you are giving someone only read, uh, read only access then you should select viewer if you want him to uh, do some modification then probably you can give editor access in this scenario we can give admin access now here you are specifying how many days you want this key to be activated so here I'm just going to write 7d 7d is for 7 days and then click on add once you click on add just wait it's gonna give you a pop-up like this and here you can see the key so just copy everything so I'm just going to copy everything and then we need to we need to replace this key with the key which we just generated okay and make sure after this double uh, double equal to we need to have a closing quotes uh, and I know if you are familiar with Python you already know these things so what we are doing here is essentially we are supplying authorization key with a value which is called bearer space and then you need to put the key and then we are also uh, we are also having a, a key name which is called accept we are passing a value of application slash json same thing we are doing for content type and now here everything else remains pretty much the same you can see you can compare uh, here we were passing credentials but here in this scenario we are not passing credentials here okay so there is no credentials here now when we are making a request at this time we are saying headers is equal to headers so it is going to pass this information in the headers when making the request okay so everything else remains the same I'm just going to run it now and hopefully it is going to run and give us the response okay so we got some error let's see what is the error which we have received okay you can see here uh, actually I just copy pasted the program and I didn't replace this uh, this this URL okay so you need to make sure this URL is of your Grafana uh, Grafana environment which you just created so in this case this is the URL which we need to use so I'm just going to copy it and going to paste it here okay and make sure when you are copying and pasting you need to make sure you do not have this HTTP coming two times so here we can see it is coming two times so I have just removed it and then also we need to remove this extra uh, slash okay now let's going to let's run it again and this time we can see we have got the response so this is how we connect to Grafana APIs now in our upcoming lessons we are going to learn a lot of things so stay tuned and if you have any questions please feel, feel free to write in the comment box 
if you have any special request or if you want me to prioritize any specific videos or any specific content uh, with respect to Grafana APIs, then do let me know in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next video.